Just look at this. Wow. There's so much to say, but I'm speechless. Just look at this AMG Black Series. And yes, it's the old key. And why? I'm going to show you in the interior. But I hope it can beat the GT2 RS. How do you guys like the GT Black Series? Here it is. Let's welcome the latest AMG GT family member. The car we've been all waiting for. The all new AMG GT Black Series model. Finally, it is here. In this video, I will be doing a walk around showing you all the exterior features afterwards. Jump inside and show you the interior of this beautiful car. And uh, last but not least, finish it all off with a resume. So let me talk about this car in specific. Um, we have 700 brake horsepower, 800 newton meter of torque, V8 by turbo AMG engine in it and uh, it pushes from zero to 100 in just 3.2 seconds. Here we have the high-tech silver metallic exterior paint as well as many carbon, additional carbon parts. So let's just start with the walk around, starting with the front here of this brutal AMG GT Black Series model. How do you guys like it? So let's start with the headlights. As you can see, these are the same headlights we have in the AMG GTR, AMG GTC, AMG GTS, etc. It's basically the same. It's like the GT shape we all know of the headlights, which really looks so nice. Then we have a lowered and bigger, much wider AMG grille with the vertical stripes with the Mercedes star. As you can see, there's a huge air flow through here. As you can see, there's the filters, etc. This is all for cooling purposes, etc. We have the AMG badge. The front splits are fully made out of carbon fiber, really looking nice. Then we have the side flaps here, which are finished in black. Air intakes also on the sides. Really love that. Then continuing here with the bonnet, here we have some beautiful power domes, some intakes. Then continuing, we have some huge carbon fiber exposed outtake. We have the air, which comes from the front grill, which will be converted over here, which is running from the bonnet through the roof and back to the rear spoiler. Also here exposed carbon fiber really looking nice and gives this car an even more brutal look just look at this this is all for cooling purposes etc this is basically not just a car a street legal car this is a race track tool so let's continue the walk around here with the sides as you can see we have AMG multi-spoke rims finished in black and we have the carbon ceramic brakes here in black also with the white AMG logo, which looks really nice. AMG engraved here. These are 19 inch multi-spoke AMG wheels. Then a few of you guys can remember we had uh, such a part, like an additional part on the GTI Pro as well. But here on the GT Black Series, it's converted in the body. As you can see, there are also filters and you can instantly see the tire, it's amazing guys. I'm speechless, honestly. Um, then we have the V8 by Turbo badge here on the side with red accents in the back here. Also airflow through here. The downside from the airflow is converted over here, which is to cool the brakes. And we have also this part completely finished in carbon fiber, which just looks awesome. And we have the side mirrors 
also carbon fiber nice detail the roof also finished in carbon fiber this is just stunning honestly then we have the rear wheels here multi-spoke amg the ceramic brakes amg engraved down under here these are 20 inch in the front we have 19 then moving to the rear of the most beautiful and brutal rear just look at this wow you just need a few minutes to realize that this car is a production car this is a car we will see on the roads in a few months basically in the late summer these will be ready to be ordered etc so let's continue here with the walk around and the rear wing just look at this double wing here for finishing carbon fiber exposed gloss carbon fiber wow never seen anything like that before you can manually adjust these uh, especially for the racetrack and uh, this little wing is uh, adjustable in the interior by a button uh, on the steering wheel or also on the center console but just look at this wow wow just wow how wide it also looks here especially with this huge wing so let's continue here with the diffusor as you can see fully finished in carbon fiber here gloss carbon fiber then we have the exhaust tips which are rounded we have no titanium exhaust which we have uh, with the amg gtr or gtr pro these are rounded specifically done for the black series model as you can see also intakes over here um, then we have the rear diffusor finished in black as you can see really nice carbon fiber really love that and just look at this the mg gt black series badge looks so nice as many of you said this car is not going to be named as a gtr black series it's a gt model black series as you can see wow love that this is also finished in completely black here to match with uh, the wing here and the windows which are also a little bit slicker than the ones you have on the gtr it's, there's a lot of lightweight which has been here on the gt black series We're talking about lightweight this is a big topic which came with the black series they have been really concentrating on the lightweight on the body of this car to use it as a race track tool basically these parts are not just to show off or else these are real parts for cooling all the flaps etc you can see like there is no plastic parts or covers or else these are all real so that's been the exterior of this car honestly there's so much to say but i'm speechless honestly i hope you can all agree with me on that i feel so blessed to stand here next to this car right now also, thank you very much again to Mercedes-Benz for this great opportunity to film this car. So before we get inside the AMG GT Black Series, let me show you the key. And yes, it's the old key. And why? I'm going to show you in the interior. But before of that, the old Mercedes-style key. As you know, we have the new design one. Lock, unlock and the trunk space. So let's get inside the GT Black Series. And I'm going to show you why we still have this old key. So here we have it, the all new AMG GT Black Series interior. As you see, there has been so much Alcantara used in this interior. Beautiful orange trim here. Really love that. But before we get inside, let me show you the door panels. As you can see, full Alcantara, which we also know from the GT3 racing cars, which have also fully uh, Alcantara material in the interior. As you can see, really nice perforated here with the orange trim and um, because there will be a special color called magma beam which will be only available for the gt black series i can't really wait to see that it will uh, basically fit to this kind of orange tone but it will be more like orange red a little bit darker but uh, we will see that soon 
as you know, already see here, we have door handle basically, but also this, which is kind of like a GT3 style here, which I really love. Then we have the AMG entrance board. Really love that great detail. There's so many carbon fiber parts. I can't really describe myself. So let's get inside and let me show you one of the coolest features of this GT Black Series. Just look at this animation now. Wow, this is so cool, honestly. Like, I'm, I'm speechless. I am, I have so much, <laughs> wow. So I'm inside the GT Black Series right now to look at this animation. Wow, looks so brutal. Awesome. Let me do it again. Opening and closing the doors. Yes love this i love this really so before i start with the interior let me explain to you guys why does this car still has this old key style all the gt cars come with this old key and why just look here in this compartment if you open it up basically which is known for all the sls also and the gt models you basically put your key inside here and then use the start stop button but nowadays most people don't even use it they just take their keys put it here inside here and then start the engine etc but basically this is something known for the gt cars and sls cars so stop complaining this is all about tradition guys so here we are now inside as you see we have so many alcantara it's a dynamica in, in mercedes language uh, dynamica parts here which really fit to that racy sporty car here the orange trim all over the interior as you can see we have the display here carbon fiber matte carbon fiber here then also the buttons here which we already know from the facelift gt models really love that and just look at the seats wow these are the carbon fiber bucket seats just look at this these are the four pointed uh, seat belts here for the racetrack only. These are not for the daily usage or for the street. Uh, the, these are illegal basically, but for this uh, racetrack uh, you can use these. Therefore, we have the normal uh, standard average um, seat belts here also. But I love these. They, have, they give your car an even cooler touch while driving. You feel so safe. And they are here mounted on the rolling cage, which is finished in titanium really loved it guys honestly i'm i'm speechless i can't like really express myself right now let me just start the ignition here we have the amg popping up all the buttons getting ready here also on the steering wheel so as you can see we have the blacked out frames here which i really love unfortunately a plastic airbag cover i wish it would have been also in alcantara or leather but uh, let me show you the uh, buttons here these are the old style still since you already know with the new e63 they came new buttons just switch them also on the left side you're just pressing etc then we have the shift pedals all finished in black gloss and here just look at this amg black series engraved in here really love that wow i love this car honestly guys i've been waiting so long to finally see this car when we've seen the first spy shots around 2018 or 2019 i've been hyped to see this car now finally sitting inside makes me so happy also thank you all for your support really really appreciate all of that then we have these buttons here like little displays you can like tap around to switch driving modes etc here then we have the traction control here which you can adjust the traction of your car is basically for the racetrack as i already told you this car is made for the racetrack it's also street legal like you can drive this car on normal streets but the uh, the purpose of this kind of car is to have a great racetrack experience of that i can't wait to see the numbers of this on the new booking basically i i hope it can beat the gt2 rs porsche model as you can already see we have the bowmaster sound here which is also a cool additional part uh, then we have a compartment over here there's not much storage as you know also here because this is a gt 
and GTs are not the best for daily use, but still it's so beautiful guys. So let me just go out and show you the bonnet and the rear, something very nice to show you guys. Yes, yeah, I already told you, this is all finished in titanium. AMG also here, really looking nice. Then here we have the exposed carbon, as you can see, the carbon pattern, it's a little bit bigger than the normal one we have. Like on the wing, you can see over there. Um, it's to show their customers this is a tool this is for lightweight etc and uh, it's basically very easy and uh, light um, all in all beautiful car still great for daily use that you have much uh, trunk space here guys but i don't think that this will be a problem for like serious customers so let me also show you what's under the bonnet in the front guys you will love it so as you can see here, what's hiding under the bonnet, we have the engine. I'm not going to talk much about the techy information at all. As you can see here, the black badge, which is also known for all black series models. They've been all uh, built by, by this black badge here. Um, here you can see the, the guy who have basically uh, built that engine, which we all know from AMG's philosophy, one man, one engine. As you can also see here, the bonnet, have these intakes here there's basically not a bonnet there's a cooling system here as you can see here here we have the intakes etc also redirecting from here to the engine and right there so all in all really nice here also an exposed carbon fiber also full lightweight concentrated on so that's it basically for today's video i hope you all enjoyed as i did um, honestly for me i really feel this car i've been waiting for this car for a few years and finally it's here also uh, a huge thanks to mercedes-benz to mercedes amgs all the guys behind for making this possible and uh, how do you guys like the gt black series is it as you expected or even more just comment down below already looking forward to read your comments i apologize if there's something i missed out etc but I'm also really excited and speechless seeing this car in full flesh here in front of me. And uh, wish you all a great time and a good day. Looking forward to read your comments. Goodbye.